Welcome back. I'm fresh back from the range with the HK P30 SK with the LEM trigger and ran it through, of course, the standard GB Guns battery of tests, the full magazine plus one, everyone's favorite what's for dinner test, and then five shots from seven yards. Found this gun surprisingly pleasant to shoot, but uh, I'll let you see how it did in the tests and uh, let you know my thoughts on it afterwards. Out with the P30 SK LEM. We're gonna start things off, of course, with our full mag plus one test. There's our one and 10 round full mag. Got a piece of steel about, I don't know, 15 yards out there to aim at. Let's see how the gun runs with that full pressure on the mag to start. good. The what's for dinner test has quite a lineup today. Now this is done not to test the gun per se, rather the gun's compatibility with different types of ammo. Even though a gun says it's 9mm and the ammo is 9mm, these different bullet profiles, overall lengths, where the ogive or curve is on the round, all of that affects the ability of the gun to feed plus the amount of energy that the round creates. Now, I'm not going to read them all off. You can see them here and go back if you want. But you can see they're all different shapes. We go all the way down to 65 grain. We've got a lot of light for calibers here. A 115 grain hollow point. We've got steel case and aluminum case. Steel doesn't expand as much as aluminum, or as brass rather, and aluminum expands more. And that's where extraction issues can happen. Same thing with the zinc plated. And we've got a lacquered steel like this Hornady and a non-lacquered steel like the tool ammo. We'll be firing three rounds of each to see how the gun picks up and chambers around from slide lock, cycles to feed a se sequential round, and a third round as a bonus, and to see if we get slide lock. Let's see how our guns do today. Out with the P30 SK LEM trigger, we'll start off what's for dinner with our 165 grain Hush subsonic, very heavy, very slow ammunition from Freedom Munitions. Got a piece of steel about 15 yards away just so I have something to aim at. Looking to see how the gun functions. I will do my best to keep my hands off of the slide lock because sometimes we don't get slide, slide lock because of that. Worked. Next up stop. is the Remington HTP 147 grain. This is a hollow point, subsonic of course. Next up, the Hornady HAP, uh, 125 grain, interesting, uh, steel case. This is a lacquer coated steel case hollow point. Very unique combination. <laughs> American Suppressor Line, 124 grain subsonic. Now obviously we don't have a can on this. I'm just curious because 124 grain is not a particularly heavy bullet, but to make it subsonic, it's gonna have very low power. I wonder if this ammunition was meant for the back pressure of a suppressor. Let's see if the P30 will eat it. It did. Now a classic Remington Golden Saber. This is a 124 grain hollow point nickel plated case. That usually helps with extraction and corrosion resistance. That's a snappy round. Now by viewer request, some federal 115 grain aluminum case. Aluminum, remember, expands more than brass, and so sometimes it can have extraction issues. But not with the P30. Now with some tool ammo, steel case 115 grain. Steel doesn't expand as much. This one doesn't have any coating on it like the Hornady did, so it might stick. We'll see. Nope. Next up, the Hornady American Gunner 115 grain hollow point. Now we're into our light for caliber. This is potentially going to generate less energy than the gun was calibrated for. 100 grain Fiocchi, center fire. This is a frangible round. 
always fun to shoot steel with. Gecko's 94 grain. This is my favorite because it smells funny. Uh, lead free round. Kind of a stubby nose. Ran just fine. Now Winchester's super clean, 90 grain. We're getting really light here. And the lightest for caliber we have, 65 grain civil trainer from Liberty. This is 100 grains lighter than where we started. And it looks like the P30 is an omnivore. P30SK. I have an actual full-size P30, so this is a very familiar firearm to me. I'm a big fan of HK. I like the ergonomic grips. I like the Picatinny rail. I like the fact that pretty much everything is ambidextrous on it, so anyone at any time, anywhere can pick up the gun and fire it. Um, I'm not generally a big fan of, of SK, uh, subcompact anything, but um, I actually really like the P30, full-size and subcompact. Now for five shots from seven yards using Nosler 124 grain match. So what did you think? I can tell you, I really like the LEM trigger. It's nice and crisp. It doesn't feel like a double action at all. And yet you have that second strike capability if you need to and the hammer there. The uh, reset on it, a little longer than some guns, but very appropriate for a carry gun. And these sights were excellent. I kind of wish that I'd gotten into HKs a little earlier because, uh, well, this has sort of whetted my appetite for it. Excellent construction. Very nice shooter and uh, just a joy on the range. Let me know what your experiences are with the HKs. Thanks for watching.